Hey there, how are y'all doing? I hope y'all had a great spring break. Uh, today is Monday, April 20th, and so we're going to get started with this new e-learning week with a lot going on. So I'm going to do some updates first, and then we'll get to um, what we're going to do in class this week. So first update is, uh, obviously, we had spring break, um, not last week, but the week before. Hope that went well for y'all. Again, obviously not going much of anywhere, um, but hope y'all have stayed safe and stayed home. Um, Last week was the wave week, and so now we're back to e-learning. Um, and so a couple of updates as we've been gone for two and a half weeks, basically, because I haven't seen or heard much from many of you in that time. Um, so update from the superintendent went out Friday. Um, understand that um, this is about grades and your report cards. Um, and this is what is being sent out to your parents as well. It says, thank you for your assistance with our instructional change to e-learning during the COVID pandemic. Uh, we appreciate your support and want to provide you with additional information that we have now concerning grades and report cards. The South Carolina Department of Education has mandated schools districts do not issue separate grades for the third and fourth quarters. There will be only one final grade per subject. Um, assignments for the high school uh, seniors are due by May 15th. Um, and seniors who have not completed their work by May 18th will receive zeros for missing assignments. Again, I don't have any seniors, but if you do have siblings that are seniors, that's for them. Um, assignments for all their students are due by May 22nd. These students who have not completed work by May 22nd will receive zeros for missing work. Uh, final exams will not be given in high school credit courses. Final report card uh, for all grade levels will be issued on May 29th. Uh, report cards for kindergartners are mailed. Um, and then grades can be viewed in PowerSchool, of course. So again, if you do not, not know your PowerSchool logins, um, please contact the, your guidance counselor and they'll get that to you. Um, or also greta.mcavoy at kcsdschools.net. That's our district level PowerSchool person. Um, and that email does have to come from your school email, not your personal email, okay? Mm -hmm. um, some other things just to know, um as we get ready um so again grades obviously it is going to be one semester long grade um they're still working on the power school side of that and so you might see your grades change um from that um but pay attention to the fluctuations that happen there um as we um continue forward again this is an e-learning week this week um next week is a wave week I would pay attention to the governor's press conference that will happen today. I don't, I have not heard a time at the time of me recording this, um, but I would assume probably like 4.30 has been his general time that he's been doing his press conferences. Um, so again, pay attention to that conference because there might be something that comes out in it. There's kind of been rumors um, through social media this weekend. Um, but again, pay attention to official sources when it comes to official announcements about school. Um, so again, as of right now, as me recording this on Sunday night for Monday, um, we are still at this point set to come back May 1st. But again, pay attention to any updates from the governor's office on that. Um, so another update um, that will affect all classes for me going forward is instead of using Zoom for our meets and having a set hour um, during the office hours of 11 to 2, um, if you will just email me saying that, hey, can you get on Google Meet with me? Um, there is a link now in your Google Classroom that you can log into Google Meet with, and we can do that chat that way. Um, so I hope that'll simplify the process of trying to get the help that you need. Um, and again, the office hours are 11 to 2. I'm not setting up the hour for like foundations, the hour for algebra 2. Um, anytime between 11 and 2, if you need me, just email and I will respond back, hey, let's set it, let's go, and I will open up the appropriate Google Meet. Um, and again, the link is in your Google Classroom at the top of your stream, right below where it says your class, so either Foundations or Honors Algebra 2. And then you'll see the class code of, you know, when you like first uh, uh, could sign up for the class. And then right below that is the Google Meet link. You'll just click on that, open the Google Meet, and I'll accept your invite into the meeting. Okay, so that's the update for that. All right, Foundation, so here is the plan for the week. Uh, we're going to be looking at um, wrapping up Unit 4, and so you'll be reviewing today and tomorrow with some assignments and exercises that I've put into Khan Academy. Um, those are already available 
um, and you need to work on those again today and tomorrow. Um, so again, you'll get an announcement video for me, but there won't be anything again new tomorrow. Again, I'm giving you two days to go back over all of this from unit four to wrap up this unit. Um, so the unit four test will be Wednesday. Um, that'll be available then. And then Thursday and Friday, we're going to start a short unit five, um, and that'll be on linear inequalities. That'll go Thursday, Friday, Monday with a 50 point major test um, Tuesday of the next e-learning week. Um, so again, if we're obviously if e-learning goes on for the rest of this year, that's the plan. If we do get back into school, um, we'll wrap up unit five if we're back in school. Um, again, so that is it. Um, again, if you need me, get on to the Google Meet and send me that email to let me know that you're in waiting for me to accept the invite. Um, and the word of the day is neat. And that is for all my Monty Python fans. Um, again, the word of the day is me. And make sure you get that submitted. And I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe. Stay home. Don't do anything stupid, y'all.